Hey Taurus, I hope you guys are doing awesome. This is gonna be your October 2018 love reading. If you want a private reading or you wanna follow me on Facebook, all that information is listed in my description box below. All right, Taurus, I'm gonna start off with a Halloween general guidance card for you guys. All right, and you're starting off with the witch. Somebody else got this too. So the earthy weaver of the worlds. All right, earth, air, fire, water, a woman lovely, a woman strange, weaver of the worlds, moon's daughter, witch, the catalyst for change, so change coming your way. This card represents you being able to weave your own change throughout your life and that that magic indeed is happening. Understand that you have power and it is real. So believing in yourself and having confidence in manifesting. It may also indicate that others may be threatened by your developing personal power and they may not appreciate or like the changes in you as you grow. So some people may not want to see you change. They want to keep you on their level. If you have those types of people in your life, it's a need to release that. Be prepared to release and do not be discouraged. New friends and better opportunities will be attracted instead. So I love this card for that reason. Many of times in life, we have people for a while, but then we figure out down the road that they're not necessarily the best people to have in our life. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on with you guys. October 2018 in love. What does Taurus need to hear in love for October, please? Taurus, what I'm already feeling is that there's a need for you guys to maybe release. Um, I feel like many of you are going through something, some kind of rebirth, some kind of changes, but it's time for you guys to really become warriors. Take control of your lives. Find your power and find your strength. What is the most important message for Taurus, October 2018, please. Two of Wands. Bold choices, ambitious choices, great progress is happening. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So really moving forward. And that first guidance card we had was talking about you possibly growing, becoming very successful and other people not liking it. This card is about success. So many of you are having success this month. There may be a need to release, close up some chapters in your love life, people around you. Um, there's really a need to find balance in your life. I think a lot of you guys are going to be like the kings and queens, the warriors, really strong confident and some people might not like that but oh well screw them so we have the king of pentacles we have the world we have the hermit and the three of pentacles so with the world this is like closing out a chapter this king of pentacles can be another earth sign taurus virgo capricorn there's some kind of a chapter ending here maybe a virgo with the hermit card but the hermit is like that spiritual journey that you may have been going on you could have already gone through this journey. You're nearing the end of the journey. Some of you may just be beginning, but really it's the need to 
have some support with the three of pentacles finding support in your life people who support you through these changes maybe a lover who supports you okay there could be you know a third party thing um you may have found somebody who you feel really gives you support whereas the person you've been with doesn't but there may be some kind of chapter ending here definitely could involve another earth sign with the hermit and with the king of pentacles Two of Pentacles. This could be that imbalance, having to make a choice or a decision, especially with the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Maybe a decision between two people. We have the Empress, Taurus, and then we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Ten of Cups. The Queen of Swords represents air sign energy. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There may really be a need to make a decision and be confident about your decision and push forward this month. Queen of Swords, Two of Wands, the Empress, that's all confident energy. And we're ending with the Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups in your future. But for some of you, it may be time to make a decision, close out a chapter, and move forward. Let's look at the world for Taurus, please. So yeah, Taurus, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult when you're releasing people. Five of Pentacles, the Magician, the Lovers. Ace of Swords, all the way a decision here. The lovers represent some kind of a decision. It also talks about the union of a soulmate relationship, somebody who makes you happy, feels makes you feel fulfilled. Five of Pentacles is that abandonment energy, left out in the cold, a depression, feeling like you've lost something. But the magician is talking about confidence, taking control, moving forward, and moving forward with strength. The Ace of Swords is a power card, and it represents victory, strong determination, strong confidence, knowing that the decision that you're making ultimately is the best choice. Follow your intuition. Let's look at the Two of Pentacles. What is this Two of Pentacles energy all about for Taurus, please? The Two of Pentacles can represent a little bit of a financial burden too, some of you may be facing. But with the Empress card here, this is talking about abundant resources happening for you. Yeah, the Hangman, Enlightenment, possibly having to make a decision. I want to look at this Empress card. I feel like you guys are going to be like the kings and queens, really ambitious. You're going to have everything, I feel like. Abundance all around, and especially financially, I'm feeling like two. All right, yeah, so again, the Two of Wands, King of Swords. Repeating cards, now we have the King instead of the Queen of Swords. But Two of Swords, being bold, being ambitious, making that choice, having confidence in the choice that you made, knowing it's the right path to walk down. King of Swords, ultimately, really representing a decision you feel strongly about. It's a wise decision. You've had time to process everything. Let's look at the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups represents that emotional happiness and fulfillment. So that's on the way. But I just think that some of you really need to have the confidence. So we have the Two of Swords and the King of Pentacles again. So some of you, some of you really may need to make a decision from a place of balance in equilibrium. Um, take stock. Think deeply about where you are, what you want, how you're going to get there. Really, I feel like this is representing a decision that's going to lead to your Ten of Cups, to your happiness. So for many of you, a decision and the power and strength to move forward. But overall, I mean, this is a good reading. It's tough when you have to sometimes, you know, move forward, make decisions that maybe other people don't agree with. But have confidence in yourself and know that... You're doing the right thing for yourself, involving your love life and your relationships. All right, Taurus, have an awesome October and take care.